Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the second most popular GPU on Steam in one of the most intensive titles out there at the moment, or most broken ones, we could say, <laughs> Body Cam. <laughs> now, just by taking a look at the system requirements, it asks for an RX 5700 or an RTX 2070, so we know that it's not going to be a good experience whatsoever. <laughs> but how bad can it really be on one of the most used GPUs out there. Well, that's what we're here to find out. This one is the Gigabyte Mini ITX version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, as usual, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Forum's GPUs. It's also the GDDR5 version of the 1650, so it's the slower model. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 5 3600X. And finally, on the memory tab, we're using 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 MHz CL14 RAM in dual channel. Let's get into the tech demo. I mean, the game. Shall we? <laughs> okay, let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution, and we're also going to test lower resolutions, because it's a 1650, obviously. <laughs> I'm not using FSR 3, but I'm also going to test it in this video. And we're using Extreme TSR right now, so we are sure that it's running at native resolution. And the absolute lowest settings right here. Let's do this. Oh my god, here we are, guys, in the woods map, and it's getting... Getting single digit FPS, kind of expected, I guess, after what we've seen in this game. Like, even the 3070 struggles at 1080p resolution, 6700 XT was getting like 50 FPS at 1080p low settings, these same settings. So, of course, a little 1650 can't really do much. <laughs> at least it's getting double digits sometimes if we go far up into the sky and take a look at the map from above, I guess. Yep, there we go, 11 frames per second. Look at how beautiful this looks. So insanely realistic. Actually, no, on low settings, it's, it's not really, guys. I mean, we got so many games that run perfectly fine on a GTX 1650, older titles, obviously, and they also run a lot better than this, that it's just like, come on. What are we doing, developers? Seriously, just optimize your games or stop using ray tracing on everything and Lumen and Nanite. Just give us the option to disable that, <laughs> you know? Otherwise, an RX 6700 XT is now what a GTX 1650 should be. Anyway, we haven't really played the game yet, but I, I really don't want to anyways. So I'm going to go ahead, enable the quality FSR right away, see how it runs. It's worse. <laughs> For some reason, some of these GPUs, when I enable FSR, look at how pixelated that is, by the way, with FSR. Uh, they just run worse. So, huh, we're in for a very good one, my friends. Oh my, <laughs> why am I doing this? Okay, let's turn on frame generation. Maybe it's gonna save the 1650. It usually does. Oh my god. Ugh, look at the frame time graph right now. First of all, the input lag is absolutely ridiculous with these FPS and frame generation enabled. Can we just play the game, please? Kill each other already. So down here, oh, it's even worse. Oh my god, actually, never mind. I want to die and go to the drone again. Holy crap. This is the worst experience I've had in recent years, guys. Like, even while testing a GT710 a few years ago, it was better. It was better than this experience. Even at like 5 FPS, because now the input lag is absolutely insane because of the frame generation, you know? Oh my god, but at least you got realistic graphics, right? No, not really. It's uh, it's all pixelated. It's a it's a mess. It is an absolute mess. Oh my god, this is gonna be a quick video. Uh, the wall of frame time is, is never a good thing to have, guys, by the way. You can see that it's not a frame time line anymore, as it should be. It's just a wall. It's a square, a rectangle of frame time graph. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, that's the experience on the second most popular GPU on Steam. Yeah, the developers these days really do care about lower-end gamers, don't they? Okay. I'm gonna apply ultra performance FSR. Actually, I'm gonna disable frame generation at the same time because that's awful. Okay, all right. Input lag is much better right now with our seven frames per second. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm still alive, actually. It's raining, I think. Yeah, th those little specks of uh, white stuff on the ground are rain. 
guys. Okay, this is essentially running at 360p resolution at the moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with the upscaler, of course, FSR Ultra Performance. No frame generation is being utilized, but honestly, you don't want to use frame generation unless you're getting like a baseline FPS of at least 45 frames per second. So it's always going to feel worse uh, at single digits, even though it puts us like at 14 fps or whatever it is absolutely terrible I see a guy right there oh my god i don't see him anymore is he still there no okay i'm glad i didn't shoot him <laughs> oh what are we doing guys can i even get a kill like this i don't think that's gonna happen but hey i'm i'm trying here i'm probably the last one alive in my team and they're all talking about how bad i am oh <laughs> There we go. All right, I'm going to enable some frame generation, guys. Here we go. We're going from 8 frames per second all the way to a buttery smooth 14. Oh, yes. This is... No, it's... Yeesh. It, it's... Again, I mean, it might seem like it's smoother on camera. <laughs> Maybe not even that, honestly. Maybe it doesn't even look smoother right now. Because this this literally looks the same. It's a choppy mess. I would say it's running at like 3 FPS, honestly. <laughs> I guess frame generation is just not working right here. We might not even have enough VRAM for that, actually. This game turns a 1650 into a GT710. That's basically it, guys. That's what it does. <laughs> That's how intensive this is. Oh my god, okay. Well, uh, I think it's time for us to disable all of these things right here, okay? Come on, there we go. Also, somebody told me in the comments that this is not working, so I'm gonna set it to very low just to check it out, okay? So this is native resolution. Yeah, it's not working. It looks pretty much the same as previously. Maybe it's a little bit blurry, I don't know. Uh, why is everybody dead and I'm not? Uh, hello. Hello. Hello? Did I get someone? Come on, where am I? Yes, I did get one! One kill, two deaths, guys. That is absolutely insane. Way better than I expected. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, 9 FPS. Wait a second, I'm just gonna confirm that that is not working. A lot of things are still not working here. This is still very, very early access. It should be a tech demo, not really a game at this point. Um, I... Can I, can I get, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. It, it looks the same. It's getting the same FPS. So no matter what you use on the TSR upscaler, I guess it's running at the native resolution. Although it does not seem like native resolution whatsoever. And we're getting like double digits right now, which is pretty darn good. So... With that said, I'm just gonna keep this disabled. Maybe it's a little bit more intensive, so yeah. And I will go down to 720p resolution next. So here we are, down to 720p resolution using the same lowest settings, native resolution. And we bumped up our FPS from like nine. Oh my, I think there's a guy standing there to 13 FPS. I'm even going to start counting the frames here. Is he still there? Yes. Yes, he is. Wait, guys. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm sorry. How does he not see me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's insane. What? He still hasn't seen me. What the heck is going on, guys? Is he dead? Is he a friendly guy? <laughs> what is going on, dude? Am I invisible? <laughs> oh my god. We had a very good opportunity there to kill one, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. I really wonder what my teammates are thinking right now. Oh my god. Well, at least in the drone, we get slightly higher FPS, like two more FPS than down there. So uh, that means that we're getting 14 frames per second. Definitely does not look like native 720p, but supposedly it is running at native 720p resolution. I guess the lower the resolution in this game, the more artifacting there will be. And I guess that's also due to the drone right now. So we can't really... Uh, see the, the 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 actual graphics at the moment because the drone view is always really really low in quality 
It has that filter with a lot of film grain and stuff. So yeah, it's, I'm, ugh, it looks so bad actually. <laughs> it's one of the worst things that I've ever seen at the lowest settings and 720 res. Okay, well, um, I think it's time for us to try some FSR. And given what we saw at 1080p resolution, I'm gonna go right away to ultra performance, which means that we should be playing at like around 240p, 280p, something like that. Okay, still the same on the drone. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. It's more pixelated, of course. It's less of a blurry mess, but also a blurry mess at the same time. Oh, there's a guy over here. There's a guy. Can I do something? Yes! My boy's got it! Good job! And I helped. Did you see that, guys? I was spotting him. I think... Maybe not. Oh, look at the weapon there. It looks like something coming out of 1990 or something like that. Like Doom 1 era <laughs> with a few more pixels. Oh, God. It's, and it still gets 12 FPS, 10 FPS. It's about the same thing, guys. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that you can do to make this playable. Because, I mean... The GPU also lacks ray tracing cores and stuff like that, and it's just not good raw performance wise either uh, in 2024. Well, enabling frame generation doesn't give us the, that square frame time graph, that rectangled uh, frame time graph anymore. We're seeing a little bit of fluctuation there. It's kind of like an, another game in its own, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's like you're, you're building a, a city. Right now we got we got some small-ish buildings, some huge buildings at the moment. There's a, a, a tower with... <laughs> it's, it's interesting, right? It's, it's even better playing that frame time game than it is playing the actual game on the GTX 1650. So if you're all about that stuff, guys, that frame time graph gameplay, this is the game for you with the 1650. It's just crash on us. Hello? <laughs> what the f Are you serious? <laughs> That's great timing because this is the end of the video anyways. <laughs> but what the hell, dude? So thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at the second most popular GPU in body cam. And I think I'm going to move on to better things right now because, well, this game is broken. <laughs> thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.